Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today we got a uh, new LED to check out. It's the Luminous SFT40, and here it is. So it's a uh, flat version of the uh, Luminous SST40. So SFT40 is the flat one. Um, kind of like a XBL HI, only the Luminous version, and much better. The stock SST40 before you shave the dome, slice the dome, de-dome it, um, actually outthrows the XBL HI. And it does put out more lumens too. So part of that thing is maybe because it puts out more lumens that helps it throw more. But anyway, um, yeah, so SFT40, luminous, this thing is a beast. I've got it inside a C8 because um, C8s are pretty easy, like a lot of people have them. And you can get, like, I think a stock C8 or an overdriven C8 with a uh, XML2. That's about 58 KCD. I'm pretty sure a, a um, XPL HI uh, with a direct drive in a C8 does about, I think, 80-something, 80 85, 86. I'm pretty sure the SST40 does about 90. So we've got a uh, SST40 here. Uh, in another one, so these are twinsies. Um, so SFT here, SF, SST here, and we're going to compare them both. Only issue is that this one is a neutral white, so I'm going to add like 10% or 15% uh, just to balance it out because this cold white is a top bin LED and it seems to be outperforming this uh, very easily. Uh, what else? So the bin of the SFT40 that I got. Um, is a N5 BC. So looking at Luminous's website, so many things in my pockets. So I'm on. I got this the document. Um, I'll leave a snip out here for you guys anyway. But just quickly, um, output 1600 lumens at 5 amps. Um, only available on a 6500K tint right now. 70 CRI. It's still like a brand new LED. Uh, what else are you looking at? So maximum drive current. 6 amps from testing uh, on big left we've already seen it does about over 10 amps pretty easy and first test we're going to do is a current test now uh, anyway I'm kind of waddling on but I can say I'll leave a snip out here but if you just look at that that N5 that we got is a top bin and at 6 amps it does 1806 lumens uh, rated by luminous themselves so let's get this testing started I guess Okay guys, so testing will consist of, um, first we're going to do the, an amp test and see how many maximum amps we can get. Um, then like a lux test and we'll just do a ceiling bounce test and um, keep it pretty simple. And um, of course we'll go outside. If I can add timestamps to this, I'll definitely add some timestamps. So this is the um, SFT40 here. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Focus. I just click right there. Can you focus? Oh. I click off there and it focuses better. So yeah, that's it. As you can see, that's the SFT40 there. It is like a pretty small die, but its footprint is still like 40-40, the same as the SST40. But um, if we compare that to the actual SST40, I don't know if I'll be able to get them both at the same time. So you can see, well, we'll do this one. This is the SST40 here. It's pretty hard. I should have just taken it out of the light. But because I already made these, it can't be stuffed. Anyway, that's the SF, SST40 there. Um, you can see the dome on it, and that is the SST40 there. Um, I'll get pictures and I'll put them up so you guys can see them much easier. Um, so I guess first thing up is the um, amp test. Alright guys, we're going for the highest amps possible. Whichever reads the highest, we're going to go with that and use that as our amp reading. Um, I'll put the light on on the amp meter. How the hell I do that? Okay, let's go. Should be mode 6 in the BLF driver. Well. There we go, no, almost 10 amps. And it's keeping it pretty stable, above 9 amps there. Um, so yeah, so that's the SFT40. 
you could see it hit almost 10 amps and the shiva light turned off on the um, plant meter. I don't have a max mode on this, I don't think. Alright guys, so this is the SST40 in neutral light. We'll see how many amps we get with this. I haven't yet, same driver, same battery, same everything. I don't usually get quite as high rating with these uh, SST40. So you can see 7.5 amps. Um, the reason why the amps jump around is because I'm using stranded cable and also it's pretty hard to like keep your hands pretty still. As you can see, I just went, went through modes there. So that done um, 7.5 amps, that standard SST40. Um, pretty normal. Sometimes you get 8. Um, if it was a cold white, you might get a little bit more, but it is a little bit uh, less powerful than the SFT40, as you can see. Alright guys, first up is the uh, Luminous SST40, um, the neutral white. We're just going to go ceiling bounce test here and um, see how, how it performs. And we're going to add 10 to 15% on top of that, uh, just to equal it out to the cold white tint. I know you might not agree with me that neutral whites... Don't perform as good as cold whites, but at least in my knowledge that they don't. So we got at the start there, it was on 124. Um, so yeah, it's pretty stable now at 121, 120. So even if we go 121 times 16.6, that's about two, 2,016 lumens. You add 20% to that, you're looking 2,200. I guess then 20% will be 400. 2,400. What am I doing? I said I was going to add 10%, not 20%. So you look at about 2,200 lumens um, at, at the front, like that's with losses for a luminous SST40 uh, in direct drive mode there. So yes, that was a bit of random maths there, right? Okay guys, first run of the uh, SFT40 in cold white. So mode 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven. So you can see the amount of locks that I started on was like 156. That's freaking crazy. All right, let's take that first number and multiply that. So we got here 156 times 16.6. We'll put it at 2,589 lumens, which does sound a little bit high, but in the testing, this did reach above. 2,500 lumens um, at at about that 10 amp mark, so around about 9 to 10 amps, it was doing over 2,500 lumens. So you can see it settled down now. It was settled down at 142. So even if you were to take that 142 times 16.6, you're still looking at about um, 2,357 lumens um, once it's kind of settled down. So that's still quite a substantial out output. Um, not that much brighter than the SST40, but it is a little bit brighter. I started talking before I hit record. Um, just setting up the Lux test for the SFT40 and we'll check out how it does. The test is going to be at 3 meters. Okay, that's done. We'll calculate it now and see how it does. Okay guys, so you see me do one Lux test. Um, I ended up taking an average of the three. So first Lux, first Lux test was 1926 times 10, uh, then 1797 times 10, and 1934 times 10. And we average that, so 1885 we get, and we got 169,000, no, 169, yeah, 169,650 CD um, from this uh, SFT40 at 3 meters. Um, your, mile may, your mileage may vary, you may get more, you may get less. Um, I found it is kind of hard to get this LED focused, there was only one gasket 
that I used, um, which I stole from a uh, SS, no, I stole from an XH350, and I put another gasket on there, and guess what? I ripped the dome off another fucking XH350, because <laughs> the gasket didn't fit. Oh, that's four of them now I've killed like that. So, um, these gaskets are, like, very hard to find. See how it's like a star-shaped one? They fit really well, and they work really well. So, it'll come down to that, too. Anyway, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I'm going to quickly do some testing of the uh, SST40 and see what lucks we get. Okay, guys, one thing we don't usually do on mine is... Um, Check out the beam on the wall, the beam pattern. So this is the um, cold white 6500K SFT40 here. Um, exact same driver on both of these lights. Um, so now we'll put on the uh, neutral white SST40. Uh, both BLF A6 drivers, so yeah. And if we go to close, this is on neutral white, this is a cold white. Um, the cold white of the SFT40 doesn't look as green as the usual SST 40s it looks a little bit wider than usual um, you can see the beam is a lot smaller so if we go there you can see how much smaller the actual beam is I think they're both on the same modes now I just gotta double check hang on I'll turn them off one did that even reset that's, that's mode one that's mode one one two so that's them side by side so just from this close, you can see uh, the beam is much smaller on the SFT40 compared to the SST40. So now we'll take it outside and see how they both throw, I guess. Okay, guys, we've got the SFT40 outside now. Um, I don't know what's going on. It could just be that um, that neutral white tint is a bit of a dud on that SST40. I would have loved to have compared them both in cold white but I can't actually get home right now because of the lockdown so it is what it is I have to do what I have to do so um yeah um that other um the neutral white SST40 got 86,000 CD I did add 10% to, to, to that which makes it like 90 something like 94 95,000 CD so yeah um, this um, SFT40, you know, 169,000 CD, 2,500 lumens, not bad. Um, so yeah, this is mode 4. Definitely, like, even on the lower modes, it puts out a lot more light than what the SST40 does, for some reason. That could just be a bad performing SST40 also, so, yeah. But then, if you look at the um, amperage reading, it is a solid 2 amps uh, more power draw, so that 2 amps has to be going somewhere, either heat or light so you know for me to say one is two 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 thousand two hundred lumens and then it's not too unfeasible to have 300 lumens extra on the sft40 for that two extra amps so yeah so that should be mode six and this should be the brightest mode mode seven so you can see it puts out a lot of light it is a uh, dirty cold white tint but that's what you kind of expect um, because that's all that it comes in is 6500k. It's definitely not as green as what the um, other SST40s were, the dome ones when they first came out. This SFT is definitely much um, wider. So yeah, definitely have to take this somewhere further out to uh, test it. But yeah, so we can see if you look at the trees, the plants, it does wash everything out. You know, it, it is the cold white, but it's okay. One thing I can tell you, it does get a lot hotter than the um, than the um, SST40. So we can go to a tree that's at 100 meters down there. I'll just move the camera. Gonna have to cycle modes, I think. So that tree that you guys can see there is 100 meters away. And you can see it lights it up like daytime. Easily lights it. Not bad. That tree actually seems further than the tree at my house, and the tree at my house is 100 meters away. So yeah, and that might even be a little bit further actually. So it could even be 120 meters. And it lights up really, really well. Um, we'll switch now to the um, SST40 and we'll, we'll compare them side by side, I guess. This is going to be quite a ridiculous test in this yard because it's not that wide. 
but mode 3 on the SST40, mode 3 on the SFT40 here. So that's 4, it's 4, it's 5, it's 5. See, on camera, I don't know if it's just because of the cold white, but you can already see that this is much brighter. The SFT40 is much, much brighter. Mode 6, mode 6, and mode 7, mode 7. So to me, the SFT looks much brighter. But obviously, you know, you take the tint and everything, and even looking on the ground there, you can see how much more furry are the uh, SFT is compared to the SST40. Um, we'll go to the trees at 100 meters with both of these lights, so I'll move the camera back because... I don't want to disturb the neighbours here. Um, I'll definitely go to the park or a field and compare these two side by side and see how they do. Okay, we'll go to the tree. Back to 100 metres now. So there we are, 100 metres. This is the SST40. You can see it gets there, and it gets there really, really good too because, you know, it's not, it's more throwy than a, um, than something like an XML2. That's, that's, that's for, for sure, but... Not quite as throwy as the SFT40. That's the SFT40 there. So you can see it out throws it easy. And a much more direct beam too. Okay guys, um, I'm going to wrap up the video now because like the yard here isn't that huge and there's neighbours on all the sides. At my actual house there's um, no neighbour behind where I test. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much the Luminous SFT40 there, um, you know, great out output, solid output, um, great throw, uh, all round wall built LED. Um, I'll leave the um, link to the data sheet down below and I'll put some screen snippets that you can check out and as always, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.